Hey guys, how's it going? This is the Bald Metal Nerd coming at you with a uh, another video. Now this video is actually, I'm going to talk about a general topic, um, USB cables related to DAX and computer audio, but um, I was actually inspired to make this video uh, by another YouTube user, another, sorry, another YouTube user. There's a bunch of videos up, he talks about audio a lot. Uh, he's one of my personal, I really like his videos. Uh, the user, his uh, username is TU Turtle. Uh, I'm going to actually link the video that was the inspiration for this uh, in the link below. That way you guys can check it out. Check out his channel. I highly recommend him. Anyway, uh, what I'm going to be talking about is do different audio cables make, I'm sorry, not different audio cables. Can USB cables make an audible difference? Uh, hooked up to your uh, DAC or whatever. Um, the science, I mean, if, if you look at, you know, should it? No, because it's digital. Um, basically, either all the information gets there or none of it does. And if you actually view his video, he did some, you know, not just audio tests, but he did data tests. And what he found out, bared out that, no matter what USB cable he used, uh, the data transfer speed was identical, all that. I'm not going to do all that. I'm only going to talk about audio. So he did bear out, yes, no matter what cable he used, all of the data transferred regardless. But, you know, he did some A-B testing with different cables just, you know, for audible difference. He, you know, maybe a noise reduction or whatever. So, of course, on watching this video, uh, it is on watching his video, it inspired me to run my own tests uh, with my Audio Engine D1 DAC. Um, basically, I tested three different USB cable, U USB cables. Um, one of the ones that I tested is probably the quote highest quality one, and that is the uh, three footer that actually comes with the unit. As you can see, uh, it's got good gold plated connectors there on the end. It's a nice sturdy shielded cable, okay? And I also tested with two cheaper cables that they probably came with printers or something. I'm not sure. Uh, just, you know, standard USB cables. I'm not sure if this is shielded or not, honestly. It's got the ferrite wraparounds, all that. Now, um, I wasn't able to do it blind like he was. I didn't have an assistant and all that. He he managed to do his blind. I wish I could have, but it was sighted. Okay, and going into this, I had the expectation that I wouldn't be able to. Uh, that I thought all of the cables would be absolutely identical. I was thinking to myself, there's no way there's going to be any difference in these cables. Um, and after the test. I'm kind of on the fence. Um, on some of them, sometimes I thought I could hear a difference. Other times I didn't think I could hear a difference. It was actually kind of driving me nuts. Um, you know, <laughs> maybe I could, maybe I couldn't. I, I, I feel a little inconclusive at this point. Um, you know, especially since my tests weren't blind, they were sighted. So, um, <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure, to be completely honest whether um you know there is there is any audible difference it's hard for me to say for sure i think there might be some and he said it you know it sounded like noise added to the digital signal which you know would bear out you know if a cable has poor or in or no shielding on it or whatever i don't know if emi or, or rfi can get in there and kind of alter the sound maybe Again, I don't know the science behind this. Um, I know data, for digital, data should be data. It shouldn't matter. I think maybe I heard a difference. But basically, the bottom line is what I'm going to do is I'm going to order a, um, I'm going to do some research into um, affordable USB, USB cables, a.k.a. ones that cost, you know, not tons of money, less than 20 or $30, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm gonna make sure I get a uh, get one that is shielded. I'm gonna make absolutely sure it's shielded, and I'm gonna get you know the gold connectors just because they're more durable, better contact, all that. 
I'm just going to do it, and I'm probably going to just leave it at that. Um, you know, because at that point, I know it's adequately well constructed. Any EMI or RFI issues, in theory, should be eliminated at that point. So, um, without spending, you know, a lot more money, you know, I'm going to get performance as, as good as it can possibly be. Again, I'm on the fence as to whether this really makes a difference or not. And I just wanted to say thank you to Two Turtle because you sent me on a mad quest, my friend. Thanks for making that video. And I would encourage um, all of you to, uh, if, if you have the time and the inclination to do the same, and let me know in the comments below what you find, if anything. Um, you know, another part that got me to do this was I was, I also, you know, in addition to having my PC hooked into my audio engine, do you want I also have a Toslink cable running from my CD player into the uh, into the Audio Engine D1, and so of course I was comparing my CDs to my computer output, you know, from the CD player. And the CD player sounded different than the computer. In theory, it shouldn't, but it did. That's a whole other. <laughs> I'm not even going to touch that one. I'm not even going to touch that one. But anyway, that's it. Um, thanks for watching this. Um, you know, thanks again to Turtle, and for everybody else, thanks for watching. If you did like what you see, please, you know, thumbs up, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.